Would it be nice to make an extra 15K a month in passive income from one single product that you only spent a few minutes creating? Okay, I'll answer that for you. Of course it would, but it seems too good to be true, right? Well, I'm here to tell you that it's not. This is a real possibility for online digital product sellers, but how? Well, that's what we're talking about today, friend. I've discovered a digital product that can be made in just minutes with the help of an online AI tool that you can create once and then sell on repeat, earning you hundreds or thousands of dollars in passive income. In this video, I'm spilling the beans on what this digital product is, how much it can make per month, and showing you how you can create it using my favorite artificial intelligence tool so that you can get started with your AI side hustle and get those sales rolling in. Coming up. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So glad you're here. If this is our first time meeting, I'm Kate. I'm a wife, mom, Etsy seller, and business coach, and I'm here to help you start and scale your online business so that you can make a full-time income doing what you love. Today, we're talking about creating a specific type of digital product that I've discovered that I'm really excited about that you can use an AI tool, which is a text-to-image tool to actually generate your image for this product and sell it as a passive income digital product on a website like Etsy. Now, when I say passive income, I'm talking talking about the type of product that yes, it does require a little bit of work up front to create the product initially, but once that digital product is created, then you don't have to do any more work. You list it on your sales platform and it sells on repeat, earning you sales and income in your sleep while you're on vacation, while you're in the kid's car pickup line, whatever it might be. So I think smart online sellers are going to be leaning more and more into learning strategy to create digital products that can serve them well by bringing in that passive income. So then they're not trading time for money. You can spend your time elsewhere scaling other parts of your business. With that said, today's video is about one specific type of digital product that you can do this with, and you can create it in just minutes by using the help of an artificial intelligence tool called Dolly. We're going to get to the actual how of creating this digital product with Dolly in just a minute, but first I want to show you what the product is. So in my research, I typed in gallery wall art, and this is what I discovered. These are sets of printable gallery wall art images or designs that Etsy sellers are selling as a bundle to go on a wall together. Now these are digital products, they are printable, so these Etsy sellers are not having to do any work in terms of actually printing the physical posters or art prints and mailing them to the buyer. The customer purchases and downloads them as a file that they can then print themselves. So I wanted to look at some of these specific listings and analyze them to actually prove that there is demand for this type of product. So for instance, I clicked on this gallery wall art set of a bundle of nine botanical wall art prints. And since I have the Everbee Chrome extension installed, I can click where it says analyze listing and Everbee will give me the estimated stats on this listing, including estimated monthly revenue, which is over $15,000 per month. The total sales on this one list listing is over 9,000 and it was only created 14 months ago. So this Everbee data along with this little Etsy bestseller badge right here tells me that this listing is selling regularly, consistently, and making a huge monthly profit for this seller. If I click over to their actual shop, I can see that they're offering a ton of these different gallery wall art sets as bundles. This is another example of a gallery wall art set listing that I can analyze. Again, I'm gonna click analyze listing by Everbee and see what the sales data is for this listing. Now this one's not making quite as much in estimated monthly revenue. It's at an estimated amount of $960 in the monthly revenue with just over 1200 sales and it's been a listing for 17 months. But this is still really great. Can you imagine having an extra thousand dollars a month just from one single listing? So this is not even for this whole shop. It's one single listing that this this seller created once as a digital product set and is selling on repeat passively, earning an extra estimated thousand dollars a month just from this one listing. But how do you actually create these designs to sell them, right? Well, you could go the long route of taking classes and tutorials and basically becoming a graphic designer yourself to do this from scratch, or you could take the simple route of using an AI text to image tool. This is a tool like Dolly that'll take a phrase that you type in and turn it into an image using artificial intelligence. This kind of tool will turn what used to take hours and hours of laborious effort on the part of the seller or designer and turn it into an effortless couple of minutes of creating a product. 
So like I mentioned before, the tool that I like to use for this is Dolly. There are a lot of different text to image tools out there using artificial intelligence, but I find that Dolly is the most user-friendly and easy for beginners to just pick up and start learning right away. If you've heard any of the recent chatter about the ChatGPT tool, which is a chat-based AI tool, Dolly is owned by OpenAI, which is the same owner of ChatGPT. So this is sort of the image generating equivalent of ChatGPT. Now, Dolly used to be free for users. They have just started implementing at the time of this filming a credit-based system. So the way that Dolly works now is that you can purchase a certain amount of credits that you use for each time you want to generate an image. You can read all about how the credits work on the website, but at the current time that I'm filming this, you can purchase 115 credits for $15, making each credit equal out to about 13 cents. You'll use one credit each time you submit a generation request or an edit or a variation request, which I'll show you in just a minute. To me, this this is actually a really great price for being able to have the capability to create a digital product like this in just minutes and then sell it passively on repeat like we talked about. Another great thing about Dolly is that they make it very clear that you can use your images that you generate to sell digital products online. Here on their website, they have a question that says, can I sell images I create with Dolly? The answer to this in their words is subject to the content policy and terms, you own the images you create with Dolly, including the right to reprint, sell, and merchandise regardless regardless of whether an image was generated through a free or a paid credit. So you are allowed to use the images you generate to sell your products online. You just have to make sure it's abiding by their content policy and terms, which you can read on the website. All right, so this is what Dolly looks like when you sign up for it and you get your account, you'll be able to come here and type in a phrase that you want and then we'll click generate. But you can take note that Dolly can be used for a variety of different types of images. So whether you wanna create something like a Van Gogh style painting, a 3D rendering, a car cartoon style illustration. The options are just really limitless with this tool. Now, what you're going to type in here is called a prompt. All AI tools use prompts, and this is how the tool knows what you want it to generate. When you enter in your prompt and click generate, you're using a credit. So we want to make sure that we're being really intentional with what we type in here. And typically, the longer, more detailed your prompt can be, the better. So I'm going to try to recreate something inspired by this listing. Now, remember, when we see other listings from other sellers, we're not wanting to exactly copy what they've done. We want to use that as inspiration to create our own designs. So this gallery wall art set is a set of 10 different prints that are in a modern boho neutral style. So that's what I'm going to go for to create my own similar set of prints with Dali. So for this first prompt, I might type in something like sketch drawing digital art of modern, simple, black, white, and cream colored abstract boho shapes. And I'm going to click generate and Dolly will then generate four different options of images that they think is accurate for what I typed in. Now I can either choose my favorite of these four to continue on with, or if I don't really like any of these, I can click generate again and it will give me four more. Okay. So let's say that I like this one the best. I'm going to click on that one and then it gives me more options up here. Specifically, I want to look at edit and variations. So let's say I like this image, but I want to see if it could create some different variations to see if there's anything similar that I might like better. I can click on variations variations. And then it's going to show me the original and then the four other variations that it created. So it's creating images that are similar, but maybe the elements are arranged a little bit differently or the colors are a little bit different to see if I like any of these better. All right, let's say I like this one the best and I click on it. Then I can also click on edit, which gives me a few different editing options down here in the bottom, one of which is an eraser tool. So using the eraser tool, I can actually change the size of my eraser and erase a specific part of the image that I may not like as much. So if I want to erase those little dots, I would just click over those. And now in this spot where I erased, I can actually generate something else. Okay, so I typed in boho pattern to see if it would come up with something to replace those dots. And it gives me a few different variations. So let's say I like this one. And I've decided this is the final image that I want to use as one of my art prints in my gallery wall art set. Then when I'm ready, I can click this little arrow to download it. Now for this, it downloaded as a PNG file, and I may want to convert that over to something else. If I'm going to be selling this on a platform like Etsy, let's say I might want it to be a PDF or a JPEG file. So I could use a third party website converter to do that, or I could do it with a tool like Canva. Now, if you're a complete beginner to the digital product world and you're thinking file types, what in the world is that? How do I even use 
use that, then I've got you covered, friend. I've got a free digital product starter guide linked in the description box of this video that you can download right after watching this video. It'll lay out all the basics for you in really easy to understand terms about file types, resolution, and everything else you need to know going into starting your digital products journey. Now let's go back and remember we're wanting to offer a gallery art bundle. So this is a bundle or a set of different prints. I need to create one design for each of the prints in that bundle. So let's say this is one that we created, but we want to start again from scratch to create another to go with it. We could come back to our original prompt and type in something else. I could say something like continuous line drawing of simple black flower in boho sketch style with a tan background generate. And these are the four options it gave me. So maybe I like these, but I want to see a few different variations of one. Let's click the one we like the most and then click variations. So again, it'll show me the original and the four different variations. I can then edit this further or download the one I like the best. Now let's say I wanted to add text or something further to make it even more of my own original unique design. I could always download this image and upload it in Canva to add text or other graphic elements. So the process is really as simple as that. You would just continue creating the images and designs you want, saving them in the right file type, listing them to a platform like Etsy, and let them sell on repeat, making you passive income in your sleep. Don't forget to click the links I have for you below for that digital product starter guide. And also I have a free Canva 30 day trial for Canva Pro, which will give you extra abilities and features if you're interested in using Canva. You can try it out for adding things to your designs and downloading them in the final file type that you want to list them in. And if you're interested in learning more about ChatGPT, which is a really helpful chat AI tool, then I have a complete tutorial on that as well. I'll have that teed up here for you if you want to click over and watch that to learn how you can use an AI tool that's text-based to create copy and other things for your business. Talk soon, friends. Mm -hmm.